Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this session, we will discuss exercise 8.2 from chapter 8 from uh, I uh, from additional mathematics course for IGCSE and O level students and find in terms of pi the arc length of a sector. So, we have to find the arc length of a uh, sector and here we have uh, given some radius and angle and we have to find the arc length. And the second part uh, find the arc length of the sector if the radius and angles are given in uh, radians. So, similarly for the third part, let us start the uh, question number one. Arc length is defined as uh, r into theta. So, this is r radius and this is theta, then this is r theta is the arc length. So, we have to find the arc length. So, let us start uh, exercise this 8.2. Uh, r is given as uh, 6 cm and theta is given as pi by 4. So, the arc length s is equal to r theta, s is arc length and this is uh, 3 by 2 pi and r is 5 cm and theta is 2 pi by 5. So, let us give 10 cm and similarly others. The arc length has to find if uh, r is given as 8 cm, theta is 1.2 radians. So, the arc length is given as 9.6. 8 multiplied by 1.2 gives 9.6 centimeters. Similarly, 2.5 multiplied by 8.8 .8 gives 2 uh, centimeters. And similarly, others. In uh, third part, we have given r is equal to 4 centimeters and 5 is uh, arc length is 5 centimeters. And we have to find the theta or angle uh, between this. Uh, angle is 1.25 radians. So, if r is given as 9 centimeter and arc length is 13.5 centimeter, the, the angle is 1.5 radians. So, let's start. go to the question number. Uh, this is th third part. Radius and arc length given. Radius and arc length given. Find the perimeter of each of these sectors. So, this is length, uh, radius and this is angle and we have to find the perimeter. So, this length, this length and this arc length will give a perimeter. So, question number uh, 4, the perimeter is 2R. Basically, one side length is R plus R. You can see from here. This is r, r, 2r and this is r theta. This is r, r, 2r plus r theta. This is r, r and 2. Uh, this angle theta, r theta. This is angle. So, in each problem, you will see this in question 4. 2r plus r theta is equal to this. r length is 4. So this is 8, this r length is 8 centimeters. So this 8 into 2, 16 centimeters. So 10, 5 centimeters into 2 is 10 centimeters. So this is gives this gives this results. The perimeter is of this. So let's go back to the question number 5. A B C D is a rectangle with A B B C and O is the midpoint of B C. O is the midpoint of uh, this B C O A E D. O, A, E and D is a sector of a circle. The sector of a circle is center O, find O, A, this length, angle A, O and D and the perimeter of the shaded region. So, this is radius, this is radius and this is arc length. So, let us solve this question number 5. So this is uh, a square plus ob square. This ob square and ab square. This is 6 cm. So this is 8 cm. So this length is 10 cm. 10 cm. So we have obtained by using this technique Pythagoras theorem. OA has been obtained. And similarly, the length angle AOD for AOD, AOD, we have to find uh, 
A O B A O and B. So this angle. If we can find this A O B is six upon tangent A O B is six upon eight. Six upon eight and the angle is thirty six point eight seven. So thirty six point eight seven is A O B. A O B thirty six centimeters. So this is ten centimeters. So this is also uh, thirty. 6.87 DOC DOC so this is same so this angle and this angle so uh, on subtracting these two angles from 180 we will get this angle AOB so AOB AOD sorry AOD this angle will be 180 minus these two angles so this 180 minus these two angles two times of this angle so it gives uh, this 106.26 in terms of radian it is 1.854 radians and we have to find the this arc length this is r theta so this theta has been obtained in terms of radians so this is r is given 10 centimeter so this is r length is very easy this is 10 into this radius so 1.85 so 1.85 multiplied by 10 is 18.54 so this is centimeter so the length uh, the perimeter of the shaded region is 10 plus 10 plus 18.54 that is 38.54 centimeter and of course the number uh, D and we can uh, solve uh, question number seven. Let's solve question number seven. The triangle EFG, E, F, and G is isosceles. This triangle is an isosceles triangle with EG, EG, and FG. Are 16 centimeters. This is 16 centimeters. This is 16 centimeters. GH is an arc of a circle with center F. This center F and an arc is produced. This uh, GH and center F with angle HFG. HFG is 0.85 radians. Find the length of arc GH. We have to find this arc length easy uh, this length and multiply by this gives this arc length the length of ef e and f length we have to find this length and the perimeter of the shaded region so this length this length this length so we have to find this so let's solve question number seven uh, we have uh, find this arc length gh that is simple 16 into this 0.85 radians so 13.6 centimeter the length of ef uh, in triangle gfi cos theta is equal to gfi cos theta is equal to cos theta this, that is 0.85 is equal to fi this fi divided by this 16 centimeter gf 16 centimeters so this fi is 10.56 centimeter and fi this lengths are equal so ei is also the same so the length of uh, this e and f is obtained as 21.12 centimeters so this is again the perimeter of the shaded region so we have to find uh, this region this length is already known and E H we have to find this E H so the length of E H is 21.12 minus 16 21.12 minus 16 E H because this length is known and this length is known this is 16 centimeter and this overall length is known so by subtracting from ef to fh we will obtain eh so this is length of eh is this 
GH is the arc length is already calculated and GE is the simple the radius this is GE 16 centimeter so once adding this we get this 34.72 centimeter that is answer